question is what is the difference between partitioning and sharding so partitioning and sharding they are like popular concepts that are being very useful when you have to scale up your system so if you have a large system and then there's a good customer base and you want to spread it across multiple regions multiple geographies then you need to scale up your system in such a scenario your database also has to be scaled up and a normal database server cannot handle like millions of users in such a scenario in that case you have to go for some of the concepts like partitioning and sharding so it's good to understand like what is the difference between these two partitioning versus sharding it's a partitioning is a generic term so here we use it for dividing a large database table into multiple smaller parts so if you see this example like where we have a table in this table we have uh, like five records and there are three columns right we have id name avatar now when we have to partition this then we can divide this table into two ways there can be more ways also but there are two generic ways in which you can divide this table first is that you can divide it vertically like some columns in one table and other columns in another part of the table like name in one side and id and avatar in a different one so that is like vertical partitioning right whenever you are dividing basis on the basis of columns then it is vertical partitioning and then we have uh, another way of dividing it like you have five rows so first you do three rows in like one part and two rows in a different part so this is like a horizontal partition where like some users they have data in one part and other users have their data in different part so these are the two broad categories of partitioning the table and why do we do this partitioning because let's say you are like uh, in like india or usa and then like you have another country that is added to your system like australia or china now your database cannot handle everything right so in such a case and people from like uh, uk or china they would be trying to access their own data not the data of usa or india or some other country right so it's better to partition that overall table into or database schema into different smaller smaller parts so that like each uh, deployment can take care of that specific partition and then the searches and all become much easier faster like you don't need to scan the whole table it will be scanning only the specific partition right so those are the things because of which we go for partitioning and there is a lecture on like uh, this topic that why do we need partitioning and what are the benefits of it so do watch that lecture i mean if you want to know more about partitioning now in this lecture we are focusing on partitioning versus sharding so in sharding we have a specific type of partitioning right so sharding is also known as horizontal partitioning but it's a little bit beyond that we will describe that what exactly it is so in sharding what we do is that we divide the data partition it horizontally and divide it on the basis of a key so that key is shared across the partitions so that key is shared across the partition and it is also known as shard key like in this example we have a table with three columns column one two three and column one is a key a b c d now we use a hash function and then using that hash function like uh, we come to know that a b c d like a goes to one b goes to two c goes to one d goes to two right so based on that we created two shards for hash value one and hash value two so a and c go to shard one and b and d go to shard two so that way we use this sharding technique to divide the data right so um, important point to note here is that one it is like a horizontal partitioning two there is a shared key which is known as shard key Right, so you not you're not just dividing a table and like storing somewhere. You are using the shard key because that will be accessed later. Like if you have to reach out to that specific shard. Another thing in sharding is that now going on to a bigger difference, which is schema is replicated across multiple servers. So let's say you have some customer table, address table, some product code table. Now your customer table may be the biggest table right 
so you are dividing that customer table based on shard key into two shards right but your product and address table they also have to be replicated across multiple servers because i mean if the request is coming to one specific shard the response can be handled from there itself right so you you have to replicate the schema for the smaller tables across the shards so that they shard each shard work in totality right so all like you know from your client a request comes and then from the load balancer all you need to know is that which shard i should go and that shard will give you the result rather than like you know you are picking one data from some partition and other data from another partition and then responding you are actually just going to a shard and getting everything from there right so data is stored data is replicated across multiple servers but for the bigger tables it is divided and it is stored in the multiple nodes on the basis of a shard key right now question comes uh, like how do you decide what kind of a key like what like you know how will you do create shard keys so in this normally we use some kind of a hash function and most popular technique for sharding key is alphabets or digits like you can do like data from 0 to 4 in one shard 5 to 9 in another shard similarly data from a to m last name in one shard and n to z in another shard so you can use one of these popular techniques to create sharding keys and in general the good rule of thumb is that we try to make sure that shards are equally load balanced so that like our partitioning key or sharding key should be created in such a way that we have like similar sizes of shards in both the sides or like in the multiple shards right so load is distributed across the shards now going back to the difference again like partitioning versus sharding so in partitioning we are just dividing a table like there is a big table customer table and that is unmanageable and we want to divide this table then you divide this table into like let's say i mean 10 partitions based on the last digit of the uh, customer id right and then you have address table that address table maybe you're dividing into 50 partitions based on like 50 different states of usa right so you can do different different kind of partitioning techniques for different sizes of tables right whereas when you do sharding in that since that whole data schema has to be in one specific shard so you have to use like one way of dividing like a whole data set right that way you try to divide it and some of the common tables they have to be just like that replicated like product ids and all they have to be replicated right so horizontal partitioning just divides the table on the basis of rows whereas sharding divides the table on the basis of rows in separate schemas that are on different servers so this is the important part that your whole schema is on a different server it's not just a table part is on a one table like you know one server part of a table and the whole schema is on that server that way that part can really work independently now last point here is that like whenever we have a uh, like lot of requests that are coming right so let's say you uh, have created uh, like five shards as a five regions in like data of india now in all those five regions let's say northern eastern western southern central right so there are five regions now you have five shards and the servers and you have five servers for that and on each shard you have the full schema but your customer table is divided into those five shards right now whenever some requests will come to the load balancer the load balancer has to figure out what shard it is and then redirect that traffic to that specific server right so load balancer has to be aware of, about like you know where exactly they have to reach for specific data right so that's how like the load is distributed across multiple shards whereas in partitioning the load balancer may not need to know it's only like the database server which can like you know make it transparent that you will send a query to the database and there it, it knows like to which partition it should go and come back right whereas in sharding the request actually goes to that set of server and comes back with the full result right and with sharding another benefit is that we can add new machines to handle the growth in data and client requests so you can just keep adding more machines and you can create more shards with those replicas and they will keep helping you with the dealing of these kind of uh, data growth 
All right, that's all uh, from us on this topic. And do post your questions and comments in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer your future questions on this topic. And thank you for listening. And do subscribe to the channel so that you can have more updates that are coming and the latest questions that we're adding will come across your way. So thanks and have a great day.